Okay, that's enough for right now. Let's see what everyone has been up to. Madison got a new doll. Ooh, Rachel is on vacation at the beach. Oh, Sadie Stevens posted a new photo. And it's even more impressive than before. Wow, 900 likes. Oh, no matter how hard I try, my photos never look like Sadie's. Hers are always so trendy and popular and... <sighs> she'll win the National Doll Photography Contest for sure. My pictures are nowhere near as good. No, Cookie, not now. Hey! <laughs> hey, stop! <laughs> all right, all right. I'll cheer up. Ginger, time to eat, honey. Be right down, Mom! Ugh! No! <laughs> I'm so sorry about your camera, Ginger. Accidents just happen sometimes. Thanks. I just can't believe I broke it. The lens is completely shattered. Now, don't get too upset. We can always replace the camera. It may not be as soon as you like, but your father and I are willing to help out. Really? Of course. We'll donate half, and you can pay the rest. Oh. Thanks, Mom. But it's just, the National Doll Photography Contest is in six weeks, and I'll never have enough allowance by then. <laughs> Oh, well, I didn't expect you to pay it all with only your allowance. I'm sure the neighbors have some odd jobs that need to be done, and babysitting is always an option. You know, you could also clean out Granny Opal's attic. Why, she told me the other day... Wait, Mom, no way am I cleaning out some Grandma's attic. Who knows what could be up there? Maybe so, but it's worth a try. One thing I know for sure is that you can do this. You're very creative, Ginger. Now you'll just have to use your creativity in a different way. I guess Mom is right, Cookie. It looks like I'll be spending my summer doing odd jobs. I mean, it can't be <clears throat> that hard. <sighs> I just need to stay focused so I can buy my camera. Then everything will be back to normal. Good night, Cookie.
99, and there. We have reached a total of 100, Cookie. <laughs> hmm, but I'm still $30 short, even with mom and dad paying half. Not to mention, all of my job options have been exhausted. Mrs. Phillips doesn't need her windows cleaned again. And I don't want to babysit the Wilson kids anymore. Whew, that was really too much. Think, think. What kind of job will pay $30? Hey, hun, here's some fresh laundry. Mom, what can I do for 30 bucks? Oh, still a few dollars short, sweetie. Yes, and I've done every job I can think of. You know, Granny Opal is still looking for help with her attic. I'm sure she'd pay well. Ugh, I had a feeling you'd say that. <sighs> well, it's up to you then, Ginger. I wouldn't count her out for good, though. You might be surprised. Hmm... I just need a few dollars more. But is it worth deep cleaning Granny Opal's attic? <sighs> Maybe I should quit saving for a new camera. Besides, it's not like my photos are anything special. <coughs> oh, but you're not the one cleaning her attic, Cookie. Mmm. <coughs> All right, girl. I guess I can do it. Hey, Mom! I've changed my mind about that job! Hello there. I'm assuming you're Ginger Roswell. Come on in, darling. Make yourself at home. Thank you, Miss Opal. Oh, no need to call me such a frightening name, Miss Ginger. All my friends call me Granny. And I'd like to consider you my friend, if you don't mind. Um, sure. I was wondering... So, tell me more about yourself. Okay... Uh, well, I'm in seventh grade, and a few of my hobbies are reading, hanging out with friends, and photography. Oh, photography, you say? Yes, ma'am. I enjoy taking pictures, especially of my dolls. I think it's fun to style their hair and set up scenes. You seem like a very talented girl. Oh, <laughs> thank you. But I'm not that great at it. At least not as good as most. Mm, that's too bad. Excuse me? Oh, I was just sorry to hear that you doubted your passion. From what I hear, you're doing what you love. And that's always a good thing if you ask me. But you're so smart, Miss Ginger. I bet you already knew that. All right then. Let's go see what's up in that attic of mine, shall we? Here it is! I've managed to sort out what I want to donate and keep, but your job is to dust everything off and then we'll move some boxes downstairs. All the cleaning supplies are in the crate on the right. Oh, you don't know how much this means to me, Ginger. I really appreciate the help. I'll be in the kitchen if you need anything, so just give a shout when you're done. Yes, ma'am, Miss Opal. I, I mean, <laughs> Granny. Hmm. This is definitely a lot different than I expected. No spiders, and not too much junk either. Well, let's get this place cleaned up. Hey, what could this be? Wow, an 
old photograph? Is that Granny Opal? I better put this back where it belongs. Wow, this is so cool! An antique scrapbook? And... A camera? <gasps> Granny Opal! I, I wasn't snooping, I promise! A picture was sticking out of the chest, and then... Uh, I guess I did take a look. Ginger, Ginger, it's quite all right. I see you have my old camera. Ah, good memories. You were a photographer too? Well, let me just say it like this. Just like you, I loved what I did. My mother gave me a camera for my 14th birthday, and boy was I thrilled! I spent my whole summer practicing and experimenting. One day, our local newspaper announced a county photography contest. Naturally, I wanted to enter, but the whole school was abuzz with the news that Alice and Spencer would win for sure. Just like me and Sadie Stevens. At that point, I was ready to give up. My photos didn't stand a chance against hers. But you know what I discovered, Ginger? What? My photos would never be like Alice and Spencer's because of that very reason. They were mine! Allison and I were both good photographers, but we captured things in our own style. Once I realized that, there was nothing holding me back. And would you believe that I won the contest? That's... amazing. I never knew we had so much in common, Granny Opal. I want to enter a photo competition too, but I'm always so busy comparing myself to Sadie Stevens. She's the most popular doll photographer around, and everyone loves her style. Thanks to you, though, I think I've found my confidence in my way of capturing things. That's exactly right. You know, I think I'd like to pass my camera on to you, Miss Ginger, as a token of our friendship. Oh no, Granny Opal, I couldn't take this. Are you sure? I'm positive. Now it won't be able to give you pictures anymore, being that it's so old, but it can serve as a reminder of your talent. Wow, this is incredible. Well, I best be going so you can finish up in here. Remember, Miss Ginger, if you stay true to yourself, you're always a winner. Thank you, Granny Opal, for everything. <sighs> I still can't believe I have a new camera. Coming, Cookie. Let's try and get a winning shot for this pet contest. 